So, um, one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is around uh, engine, engine technology, where we're going with fuels, yeah. um, and we're joined on the stand by our power systems team. So, you know, we are one of the largest manufacturers of off-highway engines. So you see them in all different applications. Um, yeah, marine, marine up, yeah, yeah, absolutely, or other ag products or generators or construction, whatever it might be. So your farmer can have one in his matching super yacht to track today. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. So I guess one point here to, to highlight is John Deere hasn't fixed a direction on, on any one sort of renewable fuel. And, and, and the reality is we're testing everything. So, yeah. you know, we know certain manufacturers may be going in different routes, but we're looking at, at it all. Kind of hedging your bets a bit on this. Cause, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because I think in reality, there's going to be some um, fuels that are work in certain applications. So yeah. it, it may not be one fuel for all going I guess forward. like, say, methane, if you've got livestock or AD, digesters it, might work, but absolutely. not so useful for a combinable crops farm. Co so, yeah. Correct. So I think the one thing that we're showing here is uh, this is the, the, the nine litre engine that actually the, the head on the on the left hand side, that's now taking this to, a, to an ethanol powered right. engine. So yeah. maybe ethanol is not so common within the European markets, but of course in the US, then ethanol is is part of that makeup yeah. of fuel and and especially in South America as well. Yeah. And what what so what would we see that engine in? Um, Which series tractor? So at the moment it's just on an evaluation. Oh, but okay, you know idea. again we we yeah. use nine liter engines in, in a wide range yeah. of our tractors. So that that could well be coming. So mm -hmm. effectively we take it from a, a a diesel type combustion engine to a, a spark type combustion engine. So you're kind so of you're using existing technology with a block and crank, but just different head to cope with a different absolutely. fuel. Absolutely, and I'm yeah. sure there's some other clever stuff in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's me oversimplifying <laughs> yeah. it to yeah. say, yeah. It, just it, put a spark plug it looks, on. It looks fairly complicated. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So, but, uh, so, you know, we will have different solutions. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the one thing is for certain, a combustion type engine is definitely going to be part of our power source going forward because yeah. it is the most power dense yeah. engine or power source you can have. Yeah. But electric, electric. will be part of it. Yeah, yeah, no, I think you're right. It's, it's a, we did a poll on the farming forum a while ago about where could you see electric yeah. in your farm. And I think people could already very easily see it could replace you know, my telehandler um, yeah. or, or yard type tractors, cattle, you know, scraper tractors, yeah. feeder tractors. Yeah. It's harder to see it working in a right, I'm going to send a tractor out drilling for 12 hours a day. Yeah. Harder to see that. How am I going to, how's it going to recharge? Yeah. So, yeah, I think there's going to be places for both yeah. but um, well yeah. we've actually got our mm. first fully electric vehicle and right. it's just right down the bottom there yeah which is a little Z turn mower so even oh, right. yeah. even for yeah. your massive garden that you've got <laughs> it will cut all of that it'll do 8,000 square meters of, of lawn so yeah. probably okay yeah, okay. That, right. do it. yeah just, just about just about <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got a little clever little feature that mm. if, it, if the battery does go low it's got like a get home mode, so at least you can get back and charge. Right, yeah. So that's that's down that end, so have yeah. a little look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But of course, we did purchase a battery company a couple of years ago, Chrysal. Yeah. And behind us, we got one of our sort of battery packs. Yes, yeah, and of course, Tesla, isn't we it? will start to see this coming. And, and we, we will have a, a fully battery vehicle in each one of our const either construction, mm. uh, turf, or, and even ag probably in the next couple of years. So um, so watch this space. Unlike car manufacturers, one issue you haven't got is is the weight, because we actually often want the weight, don't we? So yes. I suppose that, that, that helps a bit. It um, does. It's just about taking enough power in enough in a small enough space, I suppose. Correct, to, yeah. correct. Mm. And again, you know, one of Chrysler's sort of mm. IPs is, you know, keeping the batteries cool, yeah. um, fast charging, because again, if you're only going to get a certain duty cycle, being able to charge quickly, you know, that's one of the one of the clever parts about it. So, again, watch your space. I think um, we'll see more and more of that um, going forward. Yeah, brilliant.